so well for you against Minnesota. Great day for you. Um, just everybody coming out of SEQ um, up front and the right receiver, um, quarterback making good reads and knowing when to hand the ball off and when not to hand the ball off. So I think it all tied in to everybody, all 11 on the field, making the right decisions. Have you had a chance to look at Penn State much of a solid defense? What have you seen from them? Uh, it's a solid defense, um, overall solid team. Um, they fly around with a lot of um, intensity, get to the ball. Um, it's the great guys on offense. They got playmakers everywhere, so it's going to be a hard game. Yeah, I know you've split carries a lot throughout your college career. Um, obviously, you've gotten quite a few carries recently. In high school, you were more of a workhorse back, right? Was that something you were kind of used to getting the ball 20, 30 times a game? Oh uh, Yeah, I'm used to it. Um, I think training comes from that um, throughout the summer. Um, I think Coach Wiley put me in a great position to um, have my body equipped to get that many carries. So um, hats off to them to making me get back to my body. To Was that an emphasis kind of coming into this program that you knew that you kind of needed to be a, a workhorse back for, for this roster? Do you think they were viewing you that way? Um, not really. Um, just, yeah, I mean, just coming out and not knowing what you're going to get. you got to work hard um, every day. So uh, you might get five carries, but you, you're in the summer, you're working like you're getting 50 carries. So you got to train your body to, to overdo what you got to do um, on the field. I know you talked before about part of the reason coming here was to prove that you could be a runner, like more of an all, less of like a pass catching back, more of like a between the tackles sort of guy. How important was it to you to prove that you could handle the workload? handle everything kind of coming in? Um, I really think I haven't proved a lot. Um, I proved a little bit. Um, I showed a little bit, but I haven't really just established like a dominant game yet. Um, I think overall um, we played, I think, like two games and really wasn't really wasn't dominant as me to, to my standard and to our room standard. Um, so that's right there. It's just I haven't played up to the standard that I hold myself accountable to. What is the standard? I mean, you... I think at 136 yards last game. What is what is the standard to you of a dominant game? Uh, the standard is just to bust bust the clock, um, bust bust whatever you can get. Um, not not living up to 130 yards. Um, I think that's that's below average in our room. Um, we try to go over 150, so uh, we ho hold ourselves to a higher standard. Uh, we're gonna get to that. Uh, we're gonna keep coming out and practice and trying to get to that point. Coach Riley said. Last night, you guys were agonizingly close to having a great running game against Minnesota. What did you see on the field? What were your discussions like with him? He said there were a few shoestring tackles Minnesota made that made it agonizingly close for you guys having a great game. What did you see on the field? How can you improve on that future? Um, just doing, just doing the little things in practice. Um, we have bad drills and that people coming from behind, swiping at your legs. Um, so going over that in practice, coming out pre-practice, coming after practice, and doing little things with our coach or just anybody around who want to get extra work in. Um, with that, um, I think all 11 contribute to the running game, man. We had a very great um, run run thing um, in that game. Uh, wasn't great, but we ran the ball a little well. Quinton had an untimely fumble at the end of what was a really good run. How did you guys, what did you guys do to keep his spirits up, you know, knowing that he's been so successful this year to make sure it doesn't spiral? Um, the first thing I said, just um, just play the next play. Um, everybody, everybody go fumble his football. Um, when you get back in the game, just just do your I mean, thing. Um, game, don't worry about the fumble. Don't worry about that, that play. You go on to the next play. And don't try to do nothing special because you messed up on the play. Just be you. Woody didn't, I think, didn't touch the ball for most of the final kind of fourth quarter against Minnesota. Was there was there a reason, you know, told to you for that? Or did you have any sort of conversation with Lincoln about that? Or anything like that? No, it wasn't the reason. Um, it was just a play calling. What we did, um, we thought that play was work. Um, so we ran that play. How long have you been waiting for the, the Wildcat package to be called? Uh, I never ran Wildcat, so um, this is like really my first time. Um, great play. Um, I think Coach Riley do, does a great thing with scheming up plays, and we ran the play, and it, it worked. What have you seen from the offensive line to have uh, an improved run blocking game against Minnesota look much different than Michigan? Um, chess progression, um, week by week, um, practice by practice, day by day. Um, guys come out and they work hard. Just trying to get better um, at anything they do, pass blocking, run blocking. Um, just getting their body right um, in the weight room. I see them guys early in the morning coming in there an hour early doing stuff, just, just little stuff that Coach Wiley wants them to do. So I really look up to them guys, and I'm really appreciated for them guys to be blocking in front of me. When you were in a more of a workhorse role in high school, do you remember how many like carries you're getting on a, a given week? Like, are you going games with 30 carries? Uh, I don't think I never ran okay. like 30 carries. Um, I don't think I ever went over like 21 carries. So, okay. 
Uh, we was really a run first team. Um, it was a pretty good team. Um, so we had a lot of pieces around us, so it spread out. Basically, almost like this team. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of pieces around me, so that was really, you got to share it around. Um, you got great people everywhere, so it opened up to a lot of stuff. Read a, read a story from back then that, you know, when you were coming out of high school, there were teams that thinking you were, you know, maybe too small to play running back, thinking of you as a slot guy or, or this and that. How, how much kind of motivation did that give you throughout kind of the rest of your collegiate career? Um... I was I was a little out. It really didn't. I was a little small. Um, I really didn't eat a lot. Um, I didn't know how to cook, so I used to eat microwave food. Um, when I got to my um, old school, I learned how to cook a little bit, and then um, when I got out here, I learned how to cook better food, like healthy food. So um, I think my body just got way better with that. Um, I really didn't. It really didn't motivate me because uh, I knew I was small. So it was it was just like I'm gonna get in college. I know I'm gonna eat way more. So. <laughs> What's the go-to recipe that, that you cook? What's the go-to meal for you? Uh, my go-to meal now, I just learned how to cook steak here. Mm -hmm. oh. So um, we went to the Rex with House of Victory, um, and we, I learned how to cook steak there. So um, shouts out to House of Victory for that. <laughs> how do you like your Thank steak? You. Well done. <laughs>